so proud to, uh, to show him for the first time in London. Work uh, talk to me, talk to us. Uh, his personality is unbelievable. Uh, so it's 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 it's, a, it's an honor to uh, to do to do this show today. So uh, first we have Turum Toglu, who is uh, the artist. Uh, this is his first UK solo exhibition, and uh, we have been representing him since our opening in June of this year. Uh, Linda Tory will be sharing her insight uh, into this exhibition and its relevance in today's art world. Uh, David Bellingham is the uh, Programme Director, the Master of uh, Arts and Business at Sotheby's Institute of Art here in London. I'll um, ask my first question to Turum Toglu. Um, so please can you tell us a little bit more about this exhibition, Mirror of Darkness, and um, what it's about? It's a biography of um, Joseph Conrad, and then when it comes together with John David's uh, exhibition proposal, it will all come together and lead me to produce all these works. Thank you. Um, Dr. David Bellingham, uh, what is it that first fascinated you most about um, Surum Toglu's art? It's a kind of rejection of um, too much representational form in order to incite a sort of sense of chaos in the work. If an artist rejects form, they incite chaos. Something always different about Zurim Togli's work, which is a sign of a good artist, as far as I'm concerned. It's not just derivative of uh, earlier artists' um, uh, no, no styles. But what really was apparent is seeing these in the flesh, they're really, really 3D. I mean, just looking down that line of paintings, I can see very large lumps of, of paint sort of actually projecting from the surface. These are bold, confident paintings. I suppose the more you get you get to see it and the more you get to speak to him, which is this surrealist tendency. They're very dreamlike and they affect your subconscious. Going on there with like a surrealist strategy, which is about the fact that we see these weird, often quite frightening forms and they hit our subconscious and, and it makes us feel better. <laughs> it's like a cathartic moment when we wake up, as it were. It's not easily classified. It's not designed to abide by any trends or any market expectations. They are punchy, they're bold, they're brave, they're unapologetic. When you look at it, you can't not think of it as, as a personal and sincere work. And part of the reading of those paintings, as I think they should be of Zurin Toglu's, is, is gradual unfolding of these layers of quite secret meanings that you see in the works. And I've begun to kind of feel this coming through as the more I look at the work as well. So it's not just a gut reaction, Zurin Toglu's work. I have found that as you investigate it, there's a lot more underlying meaning to it. It's an attitude that also gives the work a quality of timelessness to it. So it transcends time and place truthfulness and, and the timelessness that make the work special and so relevant now and beyond.